Hi, good afternoon YouTube. Welcome again to my channel. Uh, Sebastian Fortune here. Um, start off with a little bit of housekeeping. If these videos are interesting, entertaining, informative in any way, uh, please uh, give a like, uh, share it and also subscribe um, to the channel. So today I'm going to uh, be talking about the the modifications that I'm going to do to my Canon and the first components um, has arrived uh, today. Um, the first mod that I'm going to be doing is, um, well, uh, the first mod I'm going to talk about, this uh, This is not the order in which I'm going to put these on a, on a Canon, it's just uh, the order in which I'm going to discuss them. First thing is the Smart Brake Module. Um, the Smart Brake Module is a very interesting module. It's a new way to be more visible. Is uh, basically the slogan ST2, and what it does is, when we ride motorcycles, uh, visibility is very, very paramount. Motorcycles, Can-Ams, and so forth. And although we're a little bit more steady on a Can-Am with three wheels than a motorcycle with two, we're still essentially riding in a much smaller vehicle than automobiles and trucks and things. And so, being as visible as possible is paramount and so this modification here um, allow the the Can-Am to activate the brake light um, when the engine braking system is triggered and engine braking is is, 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 uh, is simple in that you release the throttle and the engine brakes kick in which slows you down tremendously now, if you did not intend to apply the brakes, normally, under normal circumstances, the brake light will not come on. And if somebody is following too closely or following behind you and they're not aware of your intention to, to slow down as quickly as the engine brake in will slow you down, then there is a chance that maybe you might get rear-ended because they didn't see a brake light come on to indicate your intention. And so that's the idea behind the smart brake module. It applies the brakes, not the brakes, it, it engages the brake light when the engine braking system kicks on. And so in this little box, this is the device that actually does the, the lion's share of the work. Right here, it, um, it has three different wires and it integrates nicely uh, with the Canon braking system. Of course, some of the panels needs to be removed from the Canon in order for um, for this thing to tie in and integrate nicely um, with the Canam, so that that is definitely something to consider. In addition to the actual device itself that performs the work, there is an installation guide that comes that gives you a bit of a wiring in terms of where these three wires from the system uh, needs to be connected into the Canam wiring system. There's also a breakdown of um, the each wire has a different color and it tells you exactly how the colors marry to other color um, in relation to the different motorcycles that they will be applied to. Uh, Moto, Guzzi, Aprilia, Aprilia uh, BMW, Triumph, Suzuki, Kawasaki, Honda, Yamaha. Of course, Canem is not listed here, but I did the research before and find out, I found out that this integrates nicely with my RT Limited and so when I install this device, I will uh, create a video. I couldn't find any on YouTube at the moment. I'll create a video and put it up there on the channel. Hopefully it might be beneficial for someone else who may intend on installing this device. In addition to the actual um, Lions share component that does the activation of the, the brake light, we have a few connectors that comes and a couple of um, zip ties that comes uh, with the package. This device here needs to be level somewhere on the Canam when it's uh, installed. It needs to be level so that it can accurately um, indicate or accurately understand the attitude of the motorcycle. So uh, the Canam in this case so as to activate the actual um, uh, brake lights. Now it can be uh, installed this way or it can be installed this way with the letter facing up the arrow must be facing forward 
towards the front of the cannon regardless of where you apply um, this piece it should be level first of all and it should be facing forward the arrow should be facing forward if I remember correctly if it's applied this way with the letter facing up whenever engine braking is engaged by simply releasing the throttle the brake light will come on steadily which means it will activate the brake to let somebody in the back know that you're about to stop that's with the letters facing up if the letter is facing down whenever you release the throttle the brake light will come on but it will blink it will blink three times I believe it will pulsate I prefer this manner because a pulsating light is perhaps more of an indicator or a distraction or an awareness grabber than just the actual brake coming on steadily so I will be installing it with the letters facing down however with the arrow pointing forward so that I could get the, um, the pulsating or blinking functionality of this device so this is the first uh, mod um, it's the smart brake module for my Can-Am. Okay, so the next mod that I will be installing on the Can-Am is the, the rear run brake and turn signal LED lighting system. And it will be installed here um, on either side of the license plate. So the package comes with two LED strips um, as you can see here two LED strips it also comes with the wiring component for each side of the Can-Am uh, RT and in addition it also comes with the activation piece for each side of the Can-Am as well. So what this essentially will do is the LED strips will be affixed to both either side of like I said the number plate right it will tie in of course with the braking system um, and the, indi in the indicator system so the LED strip will be attached to either side of the rear of the Can-Am and whenever you have braking events not only will the brake light uh, be illuminated as normal but the strip will also be illuminated as well on either side so obviously it gives a little bit more visibility a little bit more activity happening here at the back of your cannon in addition to that when you indicate that you want to go right then the right side strip will blink also to indicate your, your intentions right uh, likewise if you indicate that you want to go left then the left side strip will blink also to indicate your intentions and of course it integrates nicely with the Can-Am braking wiring system with the LED strips the connector that patches into the wiring system and the encoder I believe that gives the indication of the intent um, also there's a couple of um, primer um, adhesion promoter to help um, these uh, LED strips stick nicely to your can -Am. and also we have alcohol prep pad which obviously is used to clean the area before applying the primer and then subsequently the LED strips so this is basically how it will look once the can -Am, once it's installed on my can -Am. Uh, the next mod I have, uh, although it's not really a mod, it's the um, front fender accessory power harness. Again, it's for F3s and RT2000, RT 2020 and, and newer, and of course F3 2019 and newer. So this is just the, um, the fender accessory power harness. And what that is, is um, so I ordered the front fender lighting uh, modules and this is just a reflector right now you know for um, uh, left side of the Can-Am of course there's one on the right side as well and this is the the same thing on the back end uh, just a reflector it's a sticker it uh, obviously at night in the dark it illuminates so that 
you know someone can see you um, same thing on the side so what I've ordered is um, an LED lighting system that integrates nicely with the Can-Am um, lighting system for you know your turn signal your running lights and so forth and this LED lighting system comes with an LED light that will come on when you indicate that you want to turn left it will be on as basically a running light as well and of course the the backside um, red will also be illuminated so this integrate nicely with the with the Canam already lighting system and so in order to install a new system once I get it I ordered it um, sling mod indicates indicated that it won't get here until the middle of May and so I will have to wait to install it so I will install the other components and of course I'll make a video as best as I can as I install these different components these different mods so that anyone out there wanting to do the same thing at least can learn a little bit something from my video learn what not to do if I do something wrong or something like that but anyway so since the fender has to be removed completely to drill and to apply the the new lighting system that I've ordered and connect it to the wiring uh, components that's already um, in the in the fender since it has to integrate with some of the wiring that's already in the fender well this accessory kit allow me to not only accommodate the wiring system for the fender lighting but additional lighting if I needed to do so without having to remove the fender again so let's say in the future I wanted to add lighting to the running board which of course I, I do and have already ordered that it will be here in time I won't have to remove the fender again to attach the lighting system to the connector and the fender I will already have done that with this uh, component and then the wire will be hanging in here uh, in the corner here somewhere so that whenever I need to attach additional lighting system there is no need to remove the fender and so this is what this piece is for this piece allow me to uh, provide uh, a way to add future lighting without having to remove the fender again it's not so much a mod as it is an accessory that accommodate additional lighting mods and so forth so that's what this piece is now now come to the most interesting modification that I will be installing on my Can-Am this is the pedal commander system and this will be attached into the Can-Am's throttle uh, system and what it does is the Can-Am is a is a drive-by-wire uh, throttle application system so it's a uh, more or less electronics electronic and I believe it's been tuned already to you know the factory setting for the basic response that you get in an RT RT limited and so forth I test rode recently the Riker and the acceleration on the Riker was tremendously more aggressive than it is on my Can-Am RT although the riding on my RT is so much more comfortable so much more refined and I think it's faster on the top end than the Riker in any case if I wanted to eliminate some of the lag and get a more precise throttle response this pedal commander is the tool that will give me what I'm looking for and so if you notice there are four different options to select from there's e four different mo modes there is eco mode obviously you know what that is um, perhaps not as aggressive as city mode but it's fuel saving and, and then more relaxed toned down a little bit you have city mode you have sport mode and you have sport plus uh, each one of these would give you much more of uh, an aggressive response you know something like straight to the point sport plus for example and I remember when I had my Porsche when I drove it in for sport plus mode it was so much more nimble I'm not nimble I'm sorry so much more frisky and aggressive when I drove it in for sp uh, sport mode I suspect this will be the same thing with the can MRT perhaps not to the level as a Porsche but you know in a nice way in addition to each of the four modes you have the degrees of, of um, sharpness or aggressiveness that you can add to each mode you have you know maybe, maybe you might like city with a plus four and sport plus with a plus three or plus two it doesn't matter you have a um, 
it doesn't matter what your what your taste is you have a range of different options that you can use to tune it to exactly how it is you want to um, to, to tune it in addition to that you have a Bluetooth interface so it could uh, connect to your Android phone iPhone and so forth and you could control the system from your Android device as well so it's uh, so it's very 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 interesting I can't wait to install this in fact I will install this modification first before I do any other mods now if I'm going to install this I need to attach it to the handlebar or, or fix it somewhere on the Canon and I'm not going to velcro it to my dash or anything like that so what I purchased was the actual harness that will attach to my handlebar um, to to accommodate the the uh, pedal commander so these are the pieces that comes with the the attachment to attach the um, the commander the, the pedal commander to to my uh, my can -Am. so these are the mods that I have so far I have the um, the smart braking system that will blink the brake when in engine braking is applied I have the um, the pedal commander which will give me control over uh, the throttle response on my can -Am. I have the front fender lighting system which is coming will not be here until the middle of next month I also have the accessory kit that will affix it to my Canon RT and I also have lighting that will be added to the sideboard um, the footboard of my Canon RT and then I have the rear brake and turn signal lighting system that I will also install here on the back in addition to that there is many more mods that I will get for this bike, perhaps exhaust system upgrade and a myriad of other things. So like I said, uh, again, I will make a video when I install these mods. Um, all of these mods, except for the smart braking system I purchased from slingmod.com. I will put the link to the site at the bottom of the video, as well as the link to the site where I purchased these, the, um, the smart braking system. In addition to that, um, any other information that I have in relation to my Canon modification I will also attach that to my video and when I do install these I will also create a video showing the installation process of each one in every single one of these mods um, it has been brought to my attention from some of the viewers that uh, uh, when it comes to in my couple of my first videos I <laughs> was telling somebody I was mentioning to be safe in riding but I wasn't practicing what I preach and I apologize for that um, sometimes I give better advice than I take myself <laughs> I, you know so I apologize for that I will be more cognizant of where I am um, and what I'm doing and make sure I come to complete stops at stop sign look left and right before I I continue to go and I'm, I appreciate you guys bringing it to my attention thank you very much for watching my video if the content is uh, entertaining enjoyable informative uh, please like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thank you again